Hello everybody, so uh, today we're going to continue on our discussion about gross domestic product. Today we're going to use a little example and of how you calculate uh, nominal GDP and real GDP. Um, and hopefully I should explain all this, these scribbles here. Um, so what we're going to do is just for the heck of it, even though this year's 2013, we're going to use um, years 1990, 1991, and 1992. Let's say that um, you have good A, this could be butter, milk, whatever, and good B, um, the same. It's just a good inside the market. Um, and you have the prices here, 5, 10, 13, quantities 4, 8, 10, same for good B over here. Um, and uh, this 20, 80, and 130 are just these uh, multiplied out. Um, and so uh, what we see here is that um, good A in 1990 is going to provide $20 of GDP. Um, and uh, good B, $12 in GDP. Um, and that's, uh, so how you calculate that is um, nominal GDP in some year is the price of the current year times the quantity of the current year. And that will give you nominal GDP. So um, I, I took the nominal GDP of 1992 um, because we're going to calculate real GDP and that will switch things up a little bit. Um, but what that was was that was just the price of good A times the quantity of good A in 1992 plus the price of good B times the quantity of good B in 1992, which is 104. So you add those two up, 130 plus 104, and that will give you $234. So um, good A and good B contribute $234 to gross domestic product in 1992. All right, now we're going to look at real GDP. And real GDP is um, important because what you're doing is um, you're getting rid of the fact that prices change. So you can um, have a base as to how GDP actually has increased by taking out inflation and the influences of if inflation over time. Um, and so... Uh, when you're calculating real GDP, you'll be given a base year. So I said that the base year here is 1991. Um, and so what you're going to do is um, real GDP is the price of the base year times the quantity of the current year. And that will give you your real GDP. So you just keep adding... This would be one good, you add the other good, you calculate it the same way, and that will give you real GDP. Okay, so in this case, um, we took, we wanted to find real GDP of 1992. And so what I did was, because the base year is in 1991, you take the price of the base year, which is $10, times the quantity in the current year, which is 1992, and that would give you 100. So that's why there's 100 here. Okay, the same over here applies. So for good B, in 1991, it was $3. And so um, you take the price of the base year times the quantity of the current year, 1992, and that will give you 3 times 13, which is 39. You uh, take 100 plus 39, and you um, get that good A and good B have contributed $139 to GDP, to real GDP. Um, and so you can see the difference that prices actually um, had on um, that, the difference between 234 and 139. In the next lesson, we'll talk a little bit about how you calculate um, the inflation rate with um, these numbers.